So in today's video guys, I'm about to show you the best registry tweaks which I made myself in order to boost your FPS here in Fortnite. The other day I was sitting in the kitchen on my low end laptop guys and I wanted to play some CS2 and Fortnite and I actually wrote myself a few registry tweaks which are super beneficial if you want to improve your performance here on your gaming PC in 2024. So therefore I'm first of all going to give you a whole entire FPS boost pack with all of the best registry tweaks which you should apply on your PC. It doesn't matter if it's Windows 10 or Windows 11 by the way, it works for both of them. In the first place now guys, I actually made myself a whole entire tool which basically allows you to clean any sort of temporary data from your PC. This is how the tool looks like and you can get it on my official website guys. Link to it in the description and I would highly appreciate if you could leave a like and subscribe guys because this actually took some time to code. We have basically options to delete any sort of temporary data. You can see here we have a bunch of options in this menu here. First of all temporary files, even clear specific browser cache and the coolest part about it is I even coded in it that you can select directly your browser guys. There are some very important ones and a little bit less important ones but I try to include everything which you can somehow delete from your PC in order to speed it up. The most important ones are of course temporary files then we have something like old Windows update cache, prefetch files also super important that you delete these once in a while and then we of course also have memory dump files, Windows delivery optimization files and DirectX shader cache. These three here on the bottom guys often can be interrupted actually causing you a lot of stutter and what's not the coolest part about it is you can just simply type in exactly the number which is next to it and it's gonna automatically clean it from your PC. Let's just say as an example that you want to clean your DirectX shader cache once in a while, which you should definitely do, you can just simply click under 9, DirectX shader cache cleared. Press any key to continue, you're good to go. Then let's say you want to clean up your prefetch files, you can just simply type in the 4, press enter, and you can see guys, everything has been deleted. So therefore, it's super easy accessible, you can just simply scroll through this menu basically and type in there the numbers. And what I would highly recommend you is to simply keep this tool on your PC, because this is the best way to actually clean cache from your PC. Like this is something which I want to give you guys for absolutely free, just as a quick thank you for surpassing 100,000 subscribers. I haven't really made a special, so therefore I thought maybe something little cool like this here might be awesome for you. So therefore, just simply keep it on your desktop, guys, and yeah, you can just use it whenever you need it. The so next up, guys, we're gonna be utilizing the NVIDIA Profile Inspector, and I've made a brand new zero delay profile. You can find the link to it on my official website as well, or on the discord.gg slash stripes. Then you're gonna run it as an administrator, and once you know in the profile itself, guys, you're gonna go into this top bar and type in there Fortnite. Until you can actually select it, press enter and then you can see Fortnite client Windows 64 shipping exit and it should be marked green. Once you can see that it's actually loaded up correctly, you're gonna click here now under import user defined profiles. You're going to open it up, click under import profiles and then you can see zero delay profile baller stripes. Open it up guys and then it should say something like profile successfully imported and then you can see all of the best settings are already applied and as well a small change here actually under texture filtering which is gonna result in a little bit less input delay because the game is gonna look a tiny bit worse. This is actually what Asian Jeff and many other pros apply recently. You can see guys LOD bias DX on plus zero three seven five zero and the same as well for LOD bias OGL. Just simply make sure that these are matching and then as well anti-aliasing transparency super sampling should be on AA mode replay mode all. This is exactly what it should say and then of course also scroll up and you're gonna make sure that under frame rate limiter that you apply exactly which FPS you basically use on your PC. For me since I'm using a 360 hertz monitor I usually put it here to 350 but this is also something to do with the fact that my monitor is G-Sync compatible. You can try that for yourself, either 357 or 360 or 237 and 240. You guys get the whole point. Either lock it to your direct monitor hertz or go free FPS underneath. Try out both and trust me, this will make a huge difference once you apply this entire profile. And the only extra tip which I also want to give you guys for the ultra low latency mode, either put it on on or ultra guys. This actually makes a huge difference and tons of pros are still arguing about which one feels better. For me, it's ultra guys so therefore you utilize this one and then just simply click under apply changes and you're good to go. This is gonna make your Fortnite look super low detailed as you can see right now in the background guys but trust me the input delay is actually insane when it comes down to using this profile. If for some reason you feel like you don't want to use it anymore guys you can also just go here back into the Nvidia profile inspector load up Fortnite and then click under this small icon which says restore current profile to Nvidia defaults but keep in mind you have then again go into the Nvidia control panel and apply everything manually or here in the tool itself but of course in here it's a little bit more complicated so therefore the nvidia control panel has less options but it's kind of like easier to use for people who are new to this moneymaker asian jeff and many other pros are also utilizing this tool which is called gr booster which is allowing them to get super low ping in fortnite guys you can try it out for absolutely free with the link in the description even marrow the fncs when is using it and it helped me to get only seven milliseconds of latency in fortnite which is already improvement of 60 percent guys and with the brand new adaptive intelligent routing guys the gr booster is basically in the background always going to 
search for the best DNS server while you're gaming, ensuring that you have the least amount of ping. You can try that for absolutely free with the link in the description. Next up, guys, I also made a specific folder with all of the best tweaks which you can enable on basically any Windows PC. And you can already see, guys, I basically did them all myself, really making sure that I put in everything which is somewhat important for you guys. You can see here, especially disable unnecessary background processes, guys. And in here now, we have a bunch of stuff. Basically, what most of these do, they basically fully disable it for Microsoft to collect data from your PC, something like disable Cortana, which is the cloud service built into Microsoft, which is actually super hardware demanding. And especially under performance visuals, you can see guys directly, that's gonna basically put your visual effect to the lowest possible setting. And as well, the same with the optimal layout, which is basically another function, which is kind of making your windows a little bit prettier, but overall, they're pretty hardware demanding. These are some very basic tweaks, guys, but definitely make sure to apply all of these here by just simply double clicking onto it. Then you should see that the registry editor is gonna ask you for permission, and then you can apply these tweaks. Make sure that you go through all of them and you should be already good to go. Also make sure guys that you watch my latest video where I literally show you how to enable XMP profile and apply some of the best CPU tweaks for your PC because in this guide I'm only going to show you tweaks which you can directly enable on your PC which are fairly easy to apply. My latest video covered everything which is a little bit harder but will provide you with a way larger FPS boost so therefore make sure to check it out afterwards. In this next step now guys we're going to take a look at the MSI Utility Tool version 3. Right click onto it and run it as an administrator. You can find it of course as well on my official website guys and once you're in here now you want to make sure that you look for your specific GPU. On this PC build, I'm running right now your RTX 4060, which as most of you guys might know, is one of Nvidia's latest GPUs, but actually most GPUs from recent years support, but actually most GPUs from recent years support the MSI mode. So therefore, what you want to do guys is make sure to go here under MSI and make sure that for your GPU, this here is actually checked. You can actually check it here by supported modes. And if it says MSI, this is exactly what you want to use. This has nothing to do with MSI the brand itself, guys. Keep this in mind. MSI is only short form for specific mode which basically allows your GPU and CPU to communicate way faster resulting in less input delay and higher performance overall. Also here under interrupt priority you're gonna make sure that you put this one here actually onto normal guys. Don't put it on high as most people say here on YouTube. Actually put it on normal and then click apply. This will immediately give you way better performance here in Fortnite chapter 5. Just simply hop in game and you will definitely notice the difference. Next up guys I want you to go into your window search bar and just simply type in that game until you can find game mode and once it's opened up guys it should look exactly like this here. You will see now first of all the option to actually turn on the game mode guys and I would highly recommend you to do this one. It has improved a lot over the last few updates guys and it's definitely really good to reduce your input delay. When game mode is on Windows optimizes your PC for play it already says and then we're gonna go over to graphics and in here now we have hardware accelerated GPU schedule. Reduce latency and improve performance but you have to restart your PC if you want the changes to actually take effect. So we're gonna enable it in the first place and once you're done with this scene now guys all you gotta do is restart your PC and you're gonna have hardware accelerated GPU scheduling enabled and the game mode which is gonna boost your FPS a lot and actually improve your input delay when it comes down to Fortnite as well. 